Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Golden Sun, The Lost Age Reloaded. And right now, we have no time to spare. We need to help Susa from that serpent. So let's go right ahead and attack. Now, you'll notice that in this version, Reloaded, he is renamed Orochi. As in, like, the Japanese dragon thing. Yeah. Anyway, for this guy, I'm putting Jenna with Venus Dijeni, Piers with Mars, Felix with Jupiter, and Sheba with Mercury. Because, I'm just gonna say outright, this guy is weak to Jupiter and resistant to Venus, so... You're going to want to pelt him with Venus attacks. Which is what I'm going to do with Felix and his Astral Blast. So, everybody else has at least a full heal for the whole party. Jenna has, well, heal. Uh, Piers has, what was it called, Aura. And Shiba has Wish, I believe. So, that leaves Felix. He can go using um, Astral Blast. So... In any case, let's begin the battle. So, Jenna can just attack for extra damage. Uh, so can you. These guys are mainly going to be defensive while Felix does Astro Blast. And we don't have any attack buffs, but I'm pretty confident we can get past this without any. So, let's begin. What I am going to do is I'm going to try to ward Jenna. Just... Just so she doesn't die from his magic attacks. Astro Blast! Mortal Danger! Ward! I need to find more differentiating voices for... Oh boy, no! Oh uh, yeah, he has Potent Cure, that's right. Actually, that's not right, because I don't remember him having that. Oh well, okay. Um, hmm... Okay, this is, uh, okay. I'm, I doubt he's gonna use it so often, but, uh, let's just be safe, I guess. Did she lose anything? Okay. No, we don't need defense. Just attack again. Piers, you can just attack again. Same with that. Astral Blast and attack. Astral Blast! Mortal Danger! Okay, not much in the way of voices, but we're going- we're taking some damage. Gemma- Jenna should heal herself up now. Piers, let's just get one a singular aura off. Felix keeps spamming that, and I'll have Sheba join in with Shine Plasma. Astral Blast! Pure well! Shine Plasma! Aura! Uh, at least he didn't full heal that. Oh boy. Jenna's... Yeah, not doing so good. Uh, Piers, let's cure that poison. Felix, I'm honestly gonna say start summoning now. Because, uh, yeah. Let's do some wheeze and then waft after. Shiva, you just keep doing Shine Plasma. Wheeze! Heal! Shine Plasma! Cure Poison! Mighty Press, this can be. S yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, isn't that like an HP to 1 move at certain points? Because I'm pretty sure it is at certain points, but we'll just have to wait and see on that. Yeah. You do waft, and then we'll summon with you. Waft! Shine Plasma! Uh-oh. Oh boy. Yeah, this is where we're coming in with the great heals. Okay, and you can summon Atalanta. You do wish well, just in case. 
Wish well. Heal well. Alerta. Okay, decent. Wind power rises. Cool aura. We didn't need that last one, but it was useful at the very least. Piers is poisoned, so he can take care of himself there with cure poison. Felix is going to just Astral Blast, waiting for his turn again. Shine Plasma! Astral Blast! Cure Poison! Okay, Weeze is back on. Let's just get a standard heal going here. Just for safety. Let's do Protect too, just in case. Astro Blast again. And Shine Plasma this time. Astro Blast! Heal! Shine Plasma! Protect! Okay, that should help. Defense. Okay, nobody got poisons there. Potent Cure on Felix will help. Just a regular old aura for everyone else. And now, let's do this. Ether on uh, Shiba. And let's continue with the Shine Plasma here. Ether! Potent Cure! Shine Plasma! Aura! No one got poisoned. Great. Cure well on Piers. You should just attack this time. Uh, Felix can use a breath. Actually, no. Use Wheeze. Yes, use Wheeze. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. Uh, Shiba, you just do whatever you're doing. As in Shine Plasma. Wheeze! Shine Plasma! Cure well! Shred! Ugh, potent cure. That's... that sucks, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's get the heal well off. I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to increase attack, use a waft, and then... Dull attack. Dull! Heal well! Waft! Kindle! Black Blizzard. Okay, I'm confident we can survive at the very least. Um... What I'm aiming for is... Megara... And then Felix unleashes his last one, which is, this is where the risk is going to come in. I actually need to cure that poison first, though, so, yeah. Blitz, and then Megara. Megara! Just for the slight attack increase. Heal well! Blitz! And Piers moves last. Ugh. Cure poison! Okay, because he's... He also gets passive 30 HP per turn, so... This is gonna take a while, so... We might as well use what we can. Reflux, reflux, reflux. Should we do it? Let's do it. Crocknit. And then... Shine Plasma this time. Reflux! Shine Plasma! Heal! Procne! Okay, decent! Ooh, 
Okay. Hmm. All right. Um. What shall we do here? Procne did a lot, and I've also got to differentiate Jenna and Sheba's voices quite a bit, because to me they sound the same at the very least. But I assume I'll get used to them eventually, and I'll differentiate between the two. I mean, yeah. Uh, HP drain, is that even worth it? For 27? I don't even think that's gonna work, so yeah. Let's just, uh, regular attack in the meantime. Let's try dulling once more, just in case. Potent Cure! Dull! No effect, okay. And Felix's weapon is Jupiter, okay. I didn't take that in consideration, so his normal attack should work well, all things considered. Potent cure. We need an uh, ether off soon, though. Okay, good. It's right there. Shine plasma. Potent cure. Ether! Healing Aura! Okay, we seem to be doing well on the defensive right now. Let's actually use some other Dijini just to even things out a bit. Try steam. Reflux. Mud. Steam. Wheeze. Okay, those counters should give us some good damage. And the game's lagging intensely now. Okay, Jenna needs to potent cure him immediately. Um, I wish they had the secondary effect because I forgot what Flora does. But let's yeah, let's just go with that. Mars and Mercury, just to get some summons off. Mercury, potent cure. Mars, Flora. Four thirty-two, not bad. Doesn't seem to have any secondary effect on the boss, but if I remember correctly, it was a debuff. Oh boy, cure poison on two people, huh? Not fun. Wish well. Potent cure. Astral Blast! Cure Poison! Hmm. If only we could, like, see his HP. Because I frankly don't know how far into the battle we are. But... I suppose we just have to tough it out till then, till it's over. Let's see what a tornado does, actually no, Astral Blast. <laughs> Cause, you know, his stat, you know, his magic stat ain't as good as his attack. Heal! Astral Blast! And it's done! I wasn't expecting that, honestly, but that was honestly kind of easy. Maybe I'm overleveled, but it I know it had me, like, on the edge of my seat, pretty much, but I guess the potent cure was to, I don't know, because that seems like it had much less HP, 
been the serpent in the vanilla game, because I remember that one taking a while no matter what you did. This one, it had potent cure and regeneration even w with the lights coming down on it, but it's, you know, I don't know, I, I guess it's just they balanced this fight out a bit, because this was a standout tough one in the original. I guess it's just a multitude of factors, like me being a teensy bit overleveled here, I believe. But, yeah. It looks like the dragon is in bad shape, but it doesn't seem like it's close to dying. Even though the serpent's defeated, I can't rest. Be still, serpent, and I will grant you peace. And with this, Kushinada's life has been spared. You have my sincerest thanks. Where are you going? To Kushinada, of course. And there's a summon tablet for us. Felix searched the slate. There is an inscription. Wielder of Earth's might, lay your hands upon this stone. I shall grant thee the power to melt into the Earth, the power of sand. Wielder of Earth's might, that be you, Felix. Touch it, go on, don't worry. Yes. And Felix learned sand. So, this is going to be extremely useful. Coming for... Well, I mean, yeah, because it's a required synergy for many dungeons up to this point, but it's also more useful for a point right here. As you can see, you can melt into the sand, and it allows you to traverse these little sandy things over here. What we want to do is go over here, and there's a Murakumo on the ground. In the original game, this was called a Cloud Brand, but to be honest, I like the Murakumo name better. It fits the Japanese style of Izumo. And that's actually weaker for Felix, huh? Okay. So Piers can equip the Murakumo. What is this, a lightning sword? Where did I even get that in the first place? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, that's pretty much all we have to do here. The serpent, with its eyes closed, looks almost alive. I suppose it's just a stone statue for the rest of eternity now. But, oh, um, someone has an affliction. Oh yes, Piers with poison. Yeah, gotta take care of that. Okay, HP's maxed out. All we have to do from this point on is to leave Gaia Rock. With retreat, it doesn't work here, okay. You want me to exit this room and then retreat, right? That's usually how it goes. There we are. Uh, I'm not dying, I'm just so tired. I'm going to lie down for a bit. Uh, are you okay? If you're going to Izumo, tell my sister that I'm still alive. Okay, got anything like mind read to say to us? Where's the select button? There it is. I got really worked over, but as long as Kushinada's safe, it was worth it. Hmm. You're going to tell Kushinada that you defeated the serpent, aren't you? Well, it is true that we had the majority of the battle with it, but you ultimately landed the finishing blow. So, I'm going to say you're going to be credited with its defeat. 
Please. You were the ones to defeat it. And you should be the honest and accept credit. Hmm. If that's how you want it to be, we'll do that. On the next episode of Golden Sun, Lost Age Reloaded, we'll head back to Izumo and report the Serpent's defeat. So, I'll see you then.